When I was 33, I bought a Dodge Viper. Um, it was a great car, and it was really fast. And the only reason I didn't get in trouble with it is because I had a supercharged Camaro just before that. So when I bought the Viper, it wasn't. It was faster than the Camaro, but it wasn't that much faster. And I was used to driving high torque, high horsepower cars by that time, and I was almost kind of disappointed in the Viper. Um, I've just given you a Dodge Viper of multiboxing, and now you have to learn how to drive it um, without ever having had the Camaro before. So I'm going to try and walk you through it a little bit. Okay, so here's the two-pull in Molten Core. You've got 40 people behind you. You, can, you don't need to do anything special with this two-pull, but I'm going to show you how to use uh, crowd control to manage the two-pull a little safer. Uh, first, let's use the T button to back up our hunters. Look at that. The hunters are backing up. Then we're going to hit the F1 key on one of the guys to say, hey, I want one of the warlocks to crowd control that annihilator. Then we're going to hit the 1 key. Um, I don't have a bow equipped. Let me um, use shoot crossbow instead of shoot bow on my warrior. I'm a little bit out of range. We're going to hit the 1 key to start the fight. Now I'm going to hold the Alt button down and let my tank get a good amount of aggro. The Alt button means nobody DPS in. All right, my, my tank has three Sunders on him, so I let the Alt button go, and now everybody DPS is in. Look at that DPS. Look at that Lava Annihilator go down. Now, if this other Annihilator gets out of crowd control, the Warlocks are going to re-crowd control him. So I'm going to select this Annihilator and hit the F6 key to get rid of the crowd control. Now we're ready to kill him. And there we go. I'm going to open with Alt. Uh, I actually accidentally didn't open with Alt, so the Warlocks all dotted him up. Um, and there we go. This Annihilator is going down super fast. And he never got off any target except um, a tank. Uh, let's do free for all. I'm going to do. So I owe somebody a bunch of lava cores. I think it was Black Shield. Um, he gives me. He's so nice. He gives me. Um, uh, repair bots for lava cores. And yeah, that's a great trade for me. I'll give him all the lava cores he wants for repair bots. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do. Oops, I have clicked something here. I'm going to show you how to do, um, let's, let's buff up a little bit. We're going to go do Baron Geddon. All right, we're going to do a, we're going to do a raid boss. Uh, notice the priest is running off. That's because he was kind of locked up there. Whenever I'm buffing up, the priest does a lot of work. Priests check everybody on the raid three times each time I press the buff button. The reason for that is, um, they have three buffs to do, and the buffs are raid-wide, so... Priests are busy. Um, let's let's move on. We're not going to kill any of this trash right now. We're going to just go kill Molten Core Boss Baron. Get it? And now I'm going to show you how to do a four pull that just was wiping my ass out, wiping it out. Um, when I first got here, even though I went and spent all my time getting full fire gear, and then I did the pull again, same wipe out. Oh my gosh. Um, this pull works much better with the Warlocks, and I'm going to have the Warlock do that guy, banish that guy, banish that guy, banish that guy, and then I'll get on my, using Outfitter, I'll get on my Fire Gear, and we're going to kill that guy. I'm going to back everybody up. I'm going to back the Hunters up. I backed everybody up with the Down Arrow, by the way. Now I'm going to try and survive. Look at that. The Warlocks did their job. This guy, I'm going to call the rogues up with the one key. The one key says, hey, all melee, get up here. Now I'm going to hit the four button to have them do um, blood, um, burning adrenaline. Burning adrenaline? No. Um, now I took the CC off the flame guard. So I'm going to hold the alt key down so that um, nobody DPSs. And the, look, the elementals, they 
were instantly crowd controlled again by the warlocks. I did take the CC off the flame guard with the F6 button, and the flame guard is dead. Now I'm going to take the CC off this elemental by selecting and hitting the F6 button. Oh, we've got a annihilator right here. Let's crowd control him. So we're going to crowd control the annihilator, and we're going to take this elemental. We're going to move him back a little bit. Look at that. The other two elementals came out. They were in action, and they instantly got crowd controlled. Uh, the F1, F6 crowd control crap is amazing. It's the best thing I've ever done. It makes some of these bosses possible. We're going to do the next lava elemental with F6, take its crowd control off. And I'm going to get ready for the banish. And there he is. Got to move him over here because he has a terrible stun and attack. And you know what? I did the wrong thing. I was um, I was allowing people to DPS in. I should have been holding the alt key down like I am now. Now I'm going to let people DPS in because I've got a Sunder on him. He's not going to lose me again. Okay, let's get that Annihilator. Let's F6 him which means get rid of the crowd control. I use uh, the raid target icons for crowd control purposes. They're amazing. Um, and there he is. The Annihilator is there. I'm holding the Alt key down, so my boy, well, the, I missed the Alt key for a second, so the Warlocks got corruption on him, so he got angry about the Warlocks. Oh, and he's still angry about the Warlocks. All right, well, we're just gonna finish him off. Look at those Hunters back there. They're being beautiful Hunters. All of this stuff is possible for you. I'm using my straight stock five minute macro setup. Um, no changes except for when I drug down shoot crossbow for ever smile. That's the only change I've made. And you can do this too. You can totally, totally do this. You know what? I'm going to um, actually pull these guys because they get Baron getting Baron a pest. Look at that. I put three warlocks on them. And I'm going to pull them all the way back here. I'm moving the hunters back while I'm running. And the flame guard is the only one up. And I don't have him, so i got to get him. Taunt. Oh, geez, that's going to hurt my raid. Well, everybody survived the flame guard's full spew. So now I'm going to use the one key to pull the rogues up. I'm going to hit the four button to burst a bit. And I'm going nuts on this flame guard. Look at that. The flame guard's like, hey, man. Now I'm going to do the um, firewalker. Hit the F6 on him. Look how fast my elementals were. Annihilated. You know why? Because I was holding the alt button down. When I hold the alt button down, my warlocks aren't busy doing um, shadow bolts. So they're ready at any moment to cast a CC. So I'm going to take this guy and hit F6. Have I lost anybody? Have I lost anybody? These packs, these four packs, they wiped me before. All right? There was no question I could do these four packs. I couldn't do them. Even with full fire gear on Eversmile, which he's wearing right now, um, the four packs were trubs. Super trubs. And Baron Gen's back there. Hopefully he doesn't come over to me and wipe us. Ooh, that was close. And we're going to do this last lava elemental. And it pays when you're multiboxing 40 guys to be careful. It's so much better to kill things slower than to wipe. Believe me. You do not want to wipe. Okay, so this guy I taunted, but um, unfortunately, so did um, Fury Swipe. So I didn't get, I didn't get the jump on this guy. So we definitely wanted him facing away for Pyro Classic Barrage like that. It's, it's not cool. <clears throat> and I'm gonna call the, um, I'm gonna call the, the rogues over. And the rogues are here. Did we lose anybody? Huh? Did we lose anybody? No, we didn't lose anybody because I fucking know what I'm doing. Okay? The crowd control um, and the multiboxing system works. So, if you think you're good at multiboxing, go into Molten Core and try to do those four pulls without my shit. 
and you tell me how you do. All right, well, that's, uh, that's about as proud as I'm going to get right there. Okay, I'm back in my D gear. Why did I get back in my D gear? If this is Baron Geddon, I'm going to be in my fire gear. Okay, so one of the things I didn't set up for you... Oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff. My bags are full again. Let's move some crap around, why don't we? You know, when you're multiboxing, you get so much crap. So um, let's give some crap to somebody else in the raid. Shaman Cinco. Yeah, you look like a guy I can give six stacks of stuff to. Ooh, Girdle of Prophecy. Um, ooh, Giant Soccer Belt. Shaman Singer's going to be wearing all that stuff. I mean, wearing all that, holding all that stuff. Oh, it's on my third computer. Okay, now I have room to pick up loot. Bam. Bam. Now, you notice one thing about my scripts. They don't throw errors. I can go through all of Molten Core in a night and never see one error from my scripts. So if you are seeing errors, they are all solvable. There's always a good reason for them. Um, and, and they're easily fixable. Okay, so this is going to be Baron Geddon. My casters are going to be standing right here and they're going to be strafing behind this rock. One of the things you have to do with your tanks is you have to unprogram their strafe keys. How you do that is you go to key bindings. I'm going to make my window really big. Go to key bindings. Say strafe left and strafe right. Notice I've got strafe left and strafe right assigned to A and D. That's no normally the turning keys. But I don't have strafe left and strafe right assigned to Q and E. Okay? None of my tanks strafe left and right. Let me show you why. When Baron Giddon turns to give us... Um, uh, Mana burn. I'm going to hit the Q button and all my casters are going to run behind the rock. Then when Mana burns over, I'm going to hit the E button and all my casters are going to come back. Pretty cool, huh? But none of my tanks do that. My tanks don't move. Notice these are all my tanks. They're just kind of standing still, right? Now my tanks get used for a very special purpose on Baron Geddon. The um, Komal tank He's a Druid tank. He goes all the way back here. When somebody gets the bomb in the back, they run back to Komal. When somebody gets the bomb in the front, that is a uh, rogue or something, they run over to Fury Swipes. All right? And in that way, um, we can use melee, and we don't lose everybody. I'm going to unstrafe right now. I'm going to have the rogues follow me. And we're going to go pull this biatch. And I'm going to plant him right here about thereabouts. The rogues need to back up a little bit. Because <coughs> the rogues aren't really doing crap shit. Just going to hit the down button to make the rogues back up. Okay, the rogues are doing shit now. Hopefully Fury Swipes didn't back into the lava. He came close. Okay, here's Inferno. I'm going to run out of Inferno. I'm towing the rogues with me. Nope, the rogues all died. It don't matter. You don't really need the rogues for Baron I'm still, you know, kind of getting... Oh, Ignite Mana. And I miss my Ignite Mana. And I'm doing all this wrong. So we're going to take an Ignite Mana. And now the bomb is going to happen. Watch. Someone's going to get the bomb. Nobody really got the bomb. Okay, I miss Ignite Mana. It doesn't look like anybody really died. Yeah, we lost a lot of people. So, yeah, we're going to have to miss that next Ignite Mana. Ignite Mana in five seconds, four seconds. Let's uh, strafe. And I'm on in 
Inferno. We're going to unstrafe. Then I'm going to go back. Pull there and get him back. Get back here a little bit. Now Shaman Ocho is the bomb. Notice Shaman Ocho ran back to Komal and he's going to quietly blow up by himself. He's a healer though, so he can just stand back there and be the bomb. Um, ignite mana. I missed another Ignite mana. I'm sure that wasn't very healthy for me. It's been a while, so um, let's run out of the Inferno at half a second. Fury Swipes is the bomb. That's interesting. Well, he gonna blow up. Ignite Mana, and I missed another Ignite Mana. How am I even in this battle? Oh, Ever Smile is getting a little bit low. So I'm not strafing out of Ignite Mana. It could be that I'm gonna wipe here because that was really a poor try. Um, next bomb in one second. Who is it? It's Orinoco. Orinoco's running back. He's going to blow somebody up. And Eversmile is getting... Small's got shield wall on. Next ignite mon is an eleven. We're gonna strafe out of this ignite mana, I guarantee you this time. But we don't have a whole lot of healing left, so we missed that ignite mana. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and have Cuppy Cakes tank the rest of this. That's an Inferno. I think the Inferno is actually hurting my guys. I think that Inferno was too close. So, we're going to have to use um, Fury Swipes. And we missed another Ignite Mana. I've never missed so many Ignite Manas. Um, just really excited about this, really jazzed. So, um, let's see if uh, we can even win this. I think I might have lost too much healing to win this. Yeah, I think I did. All right, well, let's res this up. And um, none of that was actually caused by my macros. That was all caused by me simply not fighting well. So um, let's try Baron Gin again, shall we? Let me show you how to do Baron Geddon right this time. Notice, you can't see my other screens, but there's not a there's not a Lua error anywhere. Lua is the language that you write in to write um, macros. Um, there's not a Lua error anywhere. There are no Lua errors on my macros. Um, if you are seeing Lua errors, please contact me. Tell me what's going on. We'll figure it out. But um, you would not normally have Lua errors, so uh, I just want you to know that my code is fairly uptight as far as error correction, error error checking, um, and I do my best to prevent people from seeing Lua errors ever. So let's see if I can shut my mouth and actually play better on this next pull. And then you can see some Baron Geddon loot. We all want to see the loot, right? That's why we come here. I come to see the loot. It's fun to see Molten Core loot. I mean, it gets old after a while, after you get it all, but um, it's still really new to me. I've only been killing Molten Core bosses for about three weeks. So for me, this is extremely new and fun. It's like going to the slot machines in Vegas and winning the first try. You want to win some more, you want to win some more. And that's the great thing about playing games like this. You get that feeling of winning a slot machine without, you know, your wife divorcing you. And um, that's what, that's why we play games. We want that 
we want that feeling of reward that reward feeling we love getting rewards right so I'm getting my rewards and my reward here is Baron Geddon and I think Baron Geddon what does Baron Geddon drop I think Baron Geddon drops shoulders I think he drops shoulders yeah he drops shoulders so let's see what shoulders we get today that's our reward and the shoulders I'm looking for probably could use some mage shoulders I don't want to see might shoulders um, and yeah let's see what we got here let's drink some more and finish resting the peeps and please help me figure out when ignite mana is going to happen because if you simply dodge ignite mana you can't lose this this fight you can't lose it at all you can stand in the inferno you can you can get blown up by bombs but if you dodge the ignite mana you will win this fight and that's what I gotta do now notice I'm rezzing I wiped I'm rezzing you're using my Ferrari macros the 8 button is the res button the F5 button is the drink button right so sometimes you just want to sit and drink it's not just a drink button it will also trade um, it will also trade with your mage for um, water although my code is programmed to expect to expect your mage to have the best water so uh, if you don't have the best water um, you have to go get it in dire mall it's actually pretty easy you can bypass most of the mobs um, if you don't have best water and don't want to get the best water you've got to change every reference to a conjured crystal water to conjured sparkling water in in smextend.lua the um, the main macro file that I give you in my scripts um, sorry I write my scripts for level 60 in a lot of cases I write my scripts for level 60 with you know certain upgrades um, where you find those missing you know it's gonna be pretty obvious you're gonna see Lua errors and um, where you see those if I get a lot of feedback from people hey I don't want to change my my SM extend at Lua to conjured sparkling water can you please just make the code better that's that's a legit request for me and I will make the code better I'll check to see whether you have conjured sparkling water and um, if you don't I'll just use the highest water I can make every single macro smarter like that it's just I didn't do it because it was just me most of the time and I write for me you know in in the beginning I, I simply wrote for me now I'm kinda writing for more than me I'm writing for other people and even though I'm a script kitty and kind of a slacker and and a scrub uh, I really take pride in um, um, in not having a whole lot of um, Lua errors pop. I never want Lua errors popping. When Lua errors pop for me, I stop and I fix it. And that's why you don't want to run raids with me because I'll just sit there and fix errors while you're running raids with me. Maybe you do want to run raids with me. You get loot. When I bring people in raids, I give them loot. They do not leave empty handed. Um, <clears throat> Fury Swipes is going to go up here. Oh man, the feral cat in my house wants to leave. Yellow cat. I call her Yellow Cat. She doesn't really have a name. Well, it, her name is Yellow Cat. Um, she doesn't have a legit name. Um, Alright, this is good enough. Uh, let's, um, let's go ahead and pull them. I'm not going to pull the rogues in this time. They just die at the beginning. So I'm going to pull the rogues in at the end. Whoa, look at Baron Geddon, he's so big! When you do kill Baron Geddon, the um, Fire Lords stop respawning. Yeah, I think that's true. The old Fire Lords, the ones you've already killed, they don't respawn. Bam! Okay, um, I don't have a timer for this mono burn, so we're going to get one mono burn. That sucks. 
Maybe I can just dodge for this first mono burn. Just stay back there until I get a time rack. Aha! It's called the Ignite Mana. See that? See that? That dodge means I, and it's Shaman Cinco with Living Bomb. I can run him back. Shaman Cinco. I'm just going to stay in front, in front of this time because I'm going to watch Ignite Mana really carefully. Um, I'm not finding Shaman Cinco, but that's okay. He's a healer. Okay, we're going to dodge Ignite Mana this time for real. It's dodged. Next Living Bomb. I swear I'm just going to stay in for Inferno. It's stupid not to do it. And Crookshanks has the bomb. And actually, he is... No, he's he's gone. He's not on my, not on my screen. So Crookshanks is going to blow people up. And we do not have a timer for Ignite Mana right now. We got, we just got Ignite Mana because we lost our timer somehow. So that sucks. That's going to hurt. Um, I went ahead and bursted. Um, Shaman Uno is Living Bomb. He's running away. He's a healer too. Ignite Mana in eight seconds. We're definitely going to miss this one. Um, look at me dodge, look at me dodge. Boom, Ignite Mana safe. And look how much better it goes when you actually just do what you're supposed to do in the fight. And I have all this fire gear on. There is no reason I need to dodge Inferno. I can just stand in the Inferno. Look at all the resists. I'm resisting three quarters of this damage. But, um, ooh. Fury Swipes was too close. Zelazi is the living bomb. Um, okay, I'm going to pull the rogues in. And uh, we're just going to take... We took an Ignite Mana there. I'm bringing in Cuppy Cakes because it looks like Eversmall is having a really hard time. And we're just going to finish him off. And that, my friends, is Baron Geddon using my unmodified five-minute multi-box scripts. Nobody has anything in any spot that wasn't automatically installed with the five-minute multi-box scripts. Um, let's find out what he dropped. What he dropped? What he Oh my gosh, is this the biggest drop you've ever seen or what? We get the bindings, we get the talisman, and we get the main shoulders all in the same freaking drop. Can you believe this? And I had the camera on. So let's, let's rez up Eversmile because he has his bindings now. Um, and let's have him grab those bindings. And we have the Talisman of Ephemeral Power, which is the very best caster um, talisman. Um, Eversmile, why don't you go grab your bindings from Baron Geddon, which were gotten with the five-minute macro system from Fury Swipes. Um, and why don't we have um, Ice Flows, who is actually, I think Ice Flows is actually on this. Yep. What is Ice Flows wearing? He's got Zandalar, Zandalar. Um, he's got not much Arcanist. I think he's got some Arcanist in his bags. He's got Arcanist Belt. He can probably get an Arcanist 3 set. Um, Oh gosh, he's got Betrayer's Boots and he's not even wearing them. Oh my gosh, I'm such a noob. Well, guess what? Ice Flows, you're getting your trinket. Look, he has no trinket on. Now he's getting the trinket of ephemeral power and Arcanist Mantle. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know what? He could go get... He 
He's got his belt of untapped power, but he could get the Zandalar belt on. He could put his Zandalar belt on, I think. And let's put his um, He doesn't have enough Arcanist stuff to actually wear yet, but we're gonna we're gonna watch him really closely. Let's put his ephemeral power trinket on. So now he's gonna kick ass. So um, I challenge you to find a Baron Geddon kill that did better than that. Um, welcome to five minute multi boxing with Furious Wipes.